Ah yes, the sweet outdoors. How oh, nice. Anyways, welcome back to XCOM. Uh, doing this. With these. I probably should give him blue screen rounds, because I said I was going to do that, wasn't I? Alright, looks good. Pause the video if you didn't see it. JK, you can trust me. I mean, honestly, it's been the same loadouts the entire time, so... Honestly, I've been cutting out those loading screens because they've been getting longer for some reason. But part of me doesn't want to do that because, like, there has to be proof I didn't, like, save scum the mission or something. But, uh, I don't think anybody gives a fuck. I don't. We need proof, uh. Subscribe to my Patreon. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Which doesn't exist. came in hot and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Alright, so... Wow, well, oh, okay. Yeah, it does go more this way. Okay, so where do we go? Is there, like, a way of, like... Telling where we're supposed to head at in the end? Like, I, I swear. It's just, like, yeah, it's just bumblefuck around, okay? Sure. We won't be concealed for this mission. And tell it to... Tell it to someone who cares. I don't know. Movement request confirmed. Oh, here we go. That's a lot of mutons. Good thing I gave blue screen, uh, blue screen rounds to, uh... Oh my goodness. I feel like, now punching is a really bad idea. You only have one bar, bar, bombard charge. Dude, why are there so many mutons? He's kind of upset. Alright. You have fanfire? How do you not have fanfire ever? What is your job here? I did she not level, that's why. Or he. I mean, doesn't that give a chance to panic? Is that not what they want? Is it that the exact thing they don't want? Now, here's the thing. There was a third one. I think it's back there, so we're gonna... Try and save our shotgunner for last. Let's get the What's pyro jerk out here. Oh, there he is. Oh. Raven Waters. If you say so. I think you might want to use you for a grenade, honestly. I will go. Eighty percent? You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Just asking for trouble, honestly. I'll do Charles Hall's here. Right, I'm gonna run and gun and then rapid fire the other guy. Moving to fire position. I'm all over it. Hopefully it did go- I was hoping it wouldn't go poorly. Come on, dude. Okay, someone's getting fucking punched. Okay, well, maybe not. Alright, Charles. Ah, oh, that's not good. I'm not even gonna leave this up to chance. I used to think that these guys didn't need my help. Apparently they need my help now. The fire cannot be stopped. Moving to position. Alright, where's uh Where's you? Oh you can't go anywhere. Tired of waiting around. Grappling. Okay. 
we can just hang out there. I, I don't know if one of these guys is one of those, like, shape-shifting things, so... I have to be a little bit on the careful side. Okay, I didn't like the fact it was waiting for me. <laughs> I can get that one. <laughs> Look how they kind of like, they kind of stand for a second, like, oh, where am I supposed to go now? What are these civilians doing? Why are they just ch chilling out here? I mean, come on. Oh, right, here we go. <laughs> Eat shit. <laughs> you dare step into XCOM's line of sight. Fuck, that was the only one that was captured? Alright, there's another one. Oh, well, we can see a bunch behind there. Oh, there's, we know there's another pack over there somewhere. I don't know about sorting that. We could overdrive. Or we can, like, bombard or do some kind of, like, railgun shit. Just a moment. I like railgun shit, though. I'm just hoping that this doesn't blow up the gas canister. Oh, hey. Wait, I, see that. I saw them over there for a second. Alright guys, we cannot move up. <laughs> Let me just tell you that right now. Okay, this is the first we're gonna go. God damn it. <laughs> I did it again. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a hack. This is how we're gonna This is how we're gonna solve my fuck up here. Oh wait, there's a there's a pot right there, dude. How do we see all this? I don't understand. This is a this is a great idea. This is one of the best ideas I've ever had. Let's just trigger every pot at once. Bring it on. <laughs> yeah, boy. Let me just tell you right now, if you don't play XCOM like this, you're a pussy. Alright, uh... I would like to blow some of these guys up. Particularly those three. I'm gonna get Raven into a more advantageous position. There's a fucking gas canister here. We're going to die. Why do you not have slightly more range than this? What's wrong with you? Alright, right, right. I think I think if I go here, I think that'll be enough. If it doesn't fall into fucking bed. Alright, we don't want to blow up our friend, our new family friend. Really? Okay, so apparently we can't even get that other guy there, but we can we can destroy his cover though. I don't really care about that guy too much. I just want to get everyone away from this gas canister, to be honest. Uh, what kind of positions can we go to? God damn it. We could go right here, but... See, this is a gas canister. I'm pretty sure they can just blow it up. Alright. Fortunately, I moved the pyro guy up, so we can't use the first aid that he has. You know what? I have an idea. Go, Bring go, that guy go. over there. Alright, Mox can definitely go somewhere else. I... 
part of me wants to be a baller and just like grapple to the guy. <laughs> Can you do that? Oh god, no. Oh god, no again. Alright, these are both pretty awful. Let's make this super safe. This means we get a bit more opportunity to kind of move around somewhere that's potentially less safe. They all bullets. There's a lot of ammunition. I don't like either of these. I don't like that either. But, you know, we could do that on this guy. No, I don't like that. This is why we have this guy here. Are you claiming her? Okay. Oh shit. This is how we solve this problem. We give them juicy targets that aren't that important to us. Okay, Sectopod is having a little bit of issues here. Oh, Mimic Beacon. Did you just try and light a robot on fire? Alright, that's a good place for a nice acid grenade, actually. Alright, they're trying to hit the robot. Well, I've seen worse shots, but I've also seen better shots. This is not gonna this is not a turn ending action, is it? No, it is a turn ending action. Oh god. Okay. That I'll scared okay. the shit out of me. I was like the the cursor was like moving. Alright, acid bomb. That's fine. Grenade! Not our friendly unit. Okay, what does our friendly bot friend have? Micro missiles. How's he not gonna get hit by it? Okay, dude, this is like impossible to see. My eyes are literally on fire. We can definitely face off this. Looks pretty good. Okay, that's amazing. What? 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 Why did she get a free sniper shot? What? I'm very confused about what how this happened. Uh, he's got enough HP. He'll live. I do want to kill that thing though. Alright, Starfall. Who do we get you in on? I think that robot's gonna take until the next level. Um, I'm on it. Get you down there at least. <laughs> Three damage. It's still 
can only hunker down. No, no, you can fire with them. All right, we have mox still. Free electrical tech, double damage to robotic units. Close to just shooting our weapon against that. They will fight no more. Uh, we, don't, we could have battle lorded extra the last turn, that would have been cool. Free Overwatch. Raven? Yeah, we can give Raven the... Together we are strong. I have another point. This removes some of his armor, and now if he does anything... Uh, we probably could start with this, he actually would have died. Target, I didn't think about that. Okay, if he does any sort of movement... Lightning field. Okay, I didn't know they had that ability. What? You missed? This is your opportunity to be a hero. It said that guy dead. Poor Lucas Williams. Oh god, Sectopods are adorable. Alright. Who needs our levels? Probably, uh, where's my snipper? Snipper, where are you? One of them was a problem. Make that two of them. Okay, apparently there's no targets available, so let's uh, just bring this guy over here. Alright, sniper. Oh, we can dead eye this too. <laughs> it's a 100% chance, so. Oh, you see that? Rock and roll. All right. I think Raven needs some levels too. Everyone needs some levels. Okay. I'll go. Oh, God damn it! Where did he go? Oh, I guess that's not so bad. You can just open the door. No targets available. Raven, are you fucking blind? Okay, Ra Raven's having some blindness issues. Ready to rock. Oh my god, are you kidding? Whatever, just fucking sort of big tires. I don't even know what angle is. X-ray neutralized. Mass one five status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Oh god, Raven. That bottom. It's, it's, oh, okay. I almost thought for a second that they were pointing the gun at that. I'm sure, we can change that if we have the time and the patience to do that. Though our peacekeeping forces were ambushed today by radical elements, their work must continue. We will not rest until the wild lands beyond our borders. Here's the thing, based. guys. So, until playing through this War of the Chosen thing, the minute I got to a certain safe. point, it was after I killed the first Chosen, I just became so OP now that the game's really kind of easy. I mean, I know I lost Epsilon at some point, but that was my own stupidity. Executed to the highest standards. 
Excellent work. I'm not sure what happened. So, I mean, someone made an off comment about how what I was doing was the equivalent of massing battle cruisers, but I honestly didn't think that was possible in this. I, maybe I'm thinking of XCOM 1. I just don't remember too much about XCOM 2. Reduce contact cause we don't need that. Alright. So we're just gonna do... We're just gonna do healing. Avenger plotting new course. Because my goal is actually just to make it to the end game. We're just doing all the research stuff and we're just gonna go screw up the avatar project and that's it. Because like I said, it's now getting a little bit too easy, so... Yeah, we don't care. I suppose since that worked, we might as well keep it up, Commander. Can Can's combat intelligence has increased. Alright. PCS. Resistance contacts plus one. Yeah, I won't say no to that. Who's Witchell's friend? I think it's Whitey McFly. Because Witchell, what? You're tired. You for real? Okay, who's another specialist? TLC. Who's your friend? Mox. Mox is tired though. Because I'd like to get one of my hackers in there. Okay, we're just gonna hold. We're gonna hold on to this one then. Um. Research breakthroughs are twice as likely to occur. Okay, we'll, we'll do research breakthroughs. <laughs> God, it's another hacking reward. Whatever, we can give it to one of the crappier hackers. So it's okay. Mark, Mark Payne gets it. Negate soldier wounds. I might as well use those, because... What am I really holding on to that for? Okay, well we just removed negative traits from Elena. And who's who's going to be next to go into the, the trigger chamber? I guess myself. There's crayons and, uh, and other stuff in there. It won't be easy, but I think it's the only option we have at this point. Agreed. We must inform the commander immediately. Go right ahead. Commander, Central, the shadow chamber has completed its analysis of the Avatar's DNA. It has identified the genetic sequence necessary to travel through the psionic gate. Perfect. We can finally shut this Avatar project down for good. However, the gate requires more than a mere transmission of genetic data. The sequence has to be part of a live subject. The key only works in lockstep with the signal. We don't have time to find another one of those things, let alone capture it. No. That part we can handle. We make our own. You're serious? Quite. Though the specimen before us is damaged beyond repair, it has provided us with its complete genetic blueprint. We already possess an unaltered avatar template from the Forge facility. That combined with the genetic material we recovered at the Black Site should allow us to replicate the procedure here. So, what's the catch? Yes, that. Without an elder consciousness driving it, the new avatar would remain as lifeless as the one before us. While I can develop its body, I cannot create the mind to drive it. But I can, in a way, by manipulating the new avatar via the psionic network. You want to operate one of these things by remote control? Not exactly, and definitely not me. Interfacing directly with their network would cause severe if not fatal trauma to an unprepared central nervous system. As it stands, we only know of one individual who has survived that kind of ordeal. That was different. The stasis suit created the perfect interface to the network, one tailored to your specific biology, Commander. Of any human candidate, you are the most likely to survive the connection. Most likely is not good enough, Doctor. It is the only answer I can give you, and our only option to traverse the alien portal. We need to come up with a game plan before we charge through the enemy's front door, which will give you some time to think about this, Commander. This specimen, this being, is something else entirely, something beyond anything we have ever seen. And yet somehow, our troops once again prevailed. Well, we don't have any more shadow projects available, so that's nice. Priority message for the commander coming through on a secure channel, sir. On screen. Sir, 
It's coming from the Advent Network Tower. You heard me. He's taking a big risk contacting us like this. Hello, Commander. You and your crew are to be commended. Your efforts in rebuilding the Resistance Network and uncovering the truth about the Avatar Project have been admirable. I only wish I had better news to report. When does he ever? Advent is not taking the death of an Elder lightly, and in turn have greatly accelerated the final stages of their Avatar Project. A plan is now in place for the rapid processing of all non-essential human life to begin immediately. Very soon, Advent's speaker will announce a breakthrough in gene therapy, a final treatment for the human condition. Billions will flock to gene therapy clinics across the globe. They will never return. I have managed to secure tactical data and access codes to the Advent Network Tower. The speaker's address will be broadcast live to a global audience via this facility. The whole of Advent's network will be listening. It is this hubris that we must use against them. The information I am sending you should allow Dr. Tigan and Chief Engineer Shen to take control of the transmission and disrupt their entire network from within. Though my hope is that this disruption will confuse the enemy's forces long enough to allow your final assault a chance of success, I ask one more thing of you. Take what you have learned. Let the world know what is happening here. Wake them up. Broadcast the truth before there is no one left to listen. It seems we are both out of time. Farewell, Commander. New objective added. Well, I think that's the irreversible one. I've updated our latest operational objectives, Commander. We have the target site locked in, Commander. This is our <laughs> chance to strike at Advent's heart. Once we control the network tower, we can finally show the world what the aliens are doing. <laughs> There's no turning back after this. Ah, uh, we get a bunch of things here. Sure, why not? What if we cancel it? Are we just allowed to cancel it? Because, you know, there's a problem of, like, you know... I think a lot of my people are, like, not ready. I mean, I just put myself into the trigger chamber. I am just hugging a body pillow right now. Like, come on. I guess we're allowed to do that. Uh, completely stuns. I don't think there's any reason for us to not do it. Okay. Oh, shit. Maxwell's almost at his at his final power level. Our action together is complete, Commander. My followers and your people continue to grow in skill, and now the resistance can take on more responsibility should you need it. I don't think we need any more of this, to be honest. Because I think we're right now in the end game, so maybe maybe we'll just put our focus into that. When do when do I come out? Four days. All right, four days we'll do it. It is just as I had hoped. Come oh, on. we got the artificials too. Inspired, sectoid riff. From what I've been told, our troops took to calling this large robotic unit a sectopod under the initial assumption that it was being controlled by a sectoid pilot. On closer inspection, we can see that is not the case. Not unlike the mechanized Advent units, which were likely derived from the sectopod itself, this machine seems to be entirely autonomous. I don't even know what we get for that. Sorry, it was a, it was a, a, a sectopod, not a sectoid. Oh, uh, we created another spark. Uh, I don't think we need that now. Alright, we did it. 
Should we bring someone else in We've there? We've constructed the ring facility, Commander, but currently we don't have any soldiers deployed on covert actions with the resistance. Who is that person? Amelia something. Who the fuck is that? Oh, it's you. Oh. I kind of wish I didn't put you in there. We could also put, improve someone's bond. I mean, you might as well. I don't think they're coming on the next mission anyways. I really would like this person to... What's her negative trait anyways? On one hand, she should. On one hand, uh... Ah, fuck it. Let's just put her in there. How's her uh, staff looking? Because I don't think, uh, if I recall, this mission is like for three people or something. Yeah, yeah, this is enough people to go on. Maybe we'll bring the Reaper along, it'll be fun. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll actually make them useful. That will do... Override. Yeah, sure. Squad feed. Dude, might as well do them all. Like, I have like a ton of intel. Commander, once we move on the Advent Network Tower, it's all or nothing. We won't have time to advance our research or deal with the wounded. We should uh, only deploy once we're fully prepared. Okay. Let's get... Let's get the other person ready. Uh, let's get... Just get the Templar out of the negative trait recovery. Where is she? Yeah. So as soon as we fix that, then we'll be good. They'll feel better about it when we... If we just are 100% ready. <laughs> we don't care. We're in the end game I am now. I'm sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. Gremlin Central Mark II. Central have seen one of these things up close back in the day. Despite a lot of speculation, there was no pilot to be found once we pried it open. I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. New orders, Commander? Kinda glad I did that now. Alright, as soon as we remove the traits from the other person. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen. Uh, he doesn't he doesn't talk to us anymore. Alright, so I think because of the all, all, also the fact. Imminent. Yeah, we're gonna we'll that comes the opportunity for you to assign us new orders, Commander. Effect of all weapon modifications is increased. Okay, we don't need loot items anymore, because we're in the end game now. Uh, I think we're done with these as well. Do... When a squad mate dies, lightly wounded soldiers can be sent into combat. Uh, I think we could do that one, but yeah. Uh, I like soldier XP gains though, because people can still level. Okay, we don't need that anymore. Plus three mobility for the first two turns of battle while a, a squad remains concealed. Could be good, but I don't think it's needed. I think lightly wounded soldiers being sent into combat could be useful. We don't need that. Uh, I guess we'll do that one then. Well, we can't remove the contacts, unfortunately. Alright. That looks good to be. If you would order us, Commander, we will undertake a new means of disrupting the Elders and their faults. I, I don't think any of these are that important. Because we're just going to wait for that one thing to happen. What are you going to do? Sure. Do that. <laughs> we're just, we're just kind of rushing through the end game here. Commander, we've located one of their facilities. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did, did he finish trading? Is he a master psionic person? Oh shit! Maxwell, Maxwell's upgraded to the latest iPhone. All right, we're done. Let's go do this. I don't know if I should do that, but I think I should. Setting course for West Asia. We're good to go. going to infiltrate the Advent Network Tower, we'll have to use a smaller squad. Try to draw less attention to ourselves than we already do. Alright guys, but that'll be for next time. And unfortunately I can't go away from this, so uh, uh, we will be watching. Bye.